Hi, so in this video we are going to learn how to find roots of quadratic equation. So quadratic equation as you know is the equation in single variable where the maximum power of the variable is 2. So equations like ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a, b and c can be any constants is called quadratic equation. So how to solve it? So let's take few examples. So let's start from the first problem. First problem is x square plus 5x is equal to 14. So first step which we have to follow over here when we solve the quadratic equation using factorization is to bring everything on the left hand side of the equal to sign and right hand side will be 0 and then we have to arrange the terms in the decreasing order of the powers of x. So it is very simple. This can be written as x square plus 5x minus 14 is equal to 0, right? And then we have to factorize this. So what we have to do, we have to find all the factors of the product of the coefficient of x square and constant and then factorize that product into two factors such that the sum of those two factors is the coefficient of x. So here the coefficient of x square is 1 and the constant is minus 14. So I'll find all the factors of minus 14. Let us take positive 14 only and then we will manipulate the minus sign. 2 7s are 14. These two are the prime numbers. So minus 14 can be written as minus 2 multiplied by 7 or it can be written as 2 multiplied by minus 7. But from here 7 minus 2 gives you 5 and 2 minus 7 gives you minus 5. So since here the coefficient of x is 5 so I am going to use these two factors over here and this can be written as x square plus 7x minus 2x minus 14 is equal to 0 and then I'll make two groups of these terms. From first group if I take x common I'll get x plus 7 inside the bracket and from second group if I take minus 2 common again I'll get x plus 7 inside the bracket. So here we intend to get the same term inside the bracket. So this equation finally can be written as x plus 7. I am taking x plus 7 common from both the terms and this will leave x minus 2 inside the bracket. This is equal to 0. So we have got x plus 7 multiplied by x minus 2 equal to 0. So either of them or both of them can be equal to 0. So if x plus 7 is equal to 0, you will get x is equal to minus 7. And if x minus 2 is equal to 0, this will give you the value of x as 2. So this is the solution of the first quadratic equation. Now let's move to second. Second one is x square is equal to 10x minus 21. This can be written as x square minus 10x plus 21 is equal to 0. So 21 can be written as either 3 multiplied by 7 or it can be written as minus 3 multiplied by minus 7. And if I add minus 3 and minus 7, I'll get minus 10. So I'll take this pair of factors of 21. So this can be written as x square minus 7x minus 3x plus 21 is equal to 0. And from first group, if I take x common, this will be x minus 7. And from the second group, if I take minus 3 common, again I'll get x minus 7 inside the bracket. This is equal to 0. Next, I have to take x minus 7 common and inside the bracket, I'll have x minus 3. This will also be equal to 0. So either x minus 7 is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0. From here, I'll get x is equal to 7 and from here, I'll get x equal to 3. So these are the two solutions of the second quadratic equation. And now let's take the third one. Third one is 42 plus x square is equal to 13x. This can be written as 42 plus x square minus 13x is equal to 0. Now I have to rearrange this in decreasing powers of x. So this can be written as x square minus 13x plus 42 is equal to 0. Now I have to factorize 42. 2 twos are 4, 2 ones are 2, 3 sevens are 21. So here 3 twos are 6 and 7. 6 plus 7 gives us 13. So 42 can be written as 
6 multiplied by 7 or it can also be written as minus 6 multiplied by minus 7. Minus 6 plus minus 7 gives us minus 13. So this can be written as x square minus 6x minus 7x plus 42 is equal to 0. So from first group if I take x common I'll get x minus 6 inside the bracket and from the second group if I take minus 7 common again I'll get x minus 6 inside the bracket. So this can be written as x minus 6 multiplied by x minus 7 is equal to 0. So either x minus 6 is equal to 0 or x minus 7 is equal to 0. So from here I'll get x is equal to 6 and from here I'll get x is equal to 7. Fourth one is 32 minus 3x square is equal to 10x. Since this 3x square is negative, so I'll take all these terms to the right hand side just to make this 3x square as positive. So this can be written as 10x plus 3x square minus 32 is equal to 0 because now we have to rearrange this in the decreasing order of powers of x and I like the first term to be positive. This is my personal choice. You can do it otherwise also. It actually doesn't affect the solution. So this can be written as 3x square plus 10x minus 32 is equal to 0. So what we have to do over here? We have to find the factors of 3 multiplied by 32. So what I'll do is I'll factorize only 32 because 3 is already a prime number. So if I write the factors of this product that can be written as 2 multiplied by 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 3. So since this 32 is negative when we rearrange these factors one of those factors will be negative. So this can be written as so if I take these four twos and multiply them it will give me 16 and 2 multiplied by 3 gives me 6. Since this 10 is positive so two factors I'm going to take as 16 and minus 6. So this can be written as 3x square plus 16x minus 6x minus 32 is equal to 0. And from here if I take x common I'll get 3x plus 16 over here and if I take minus 2 common from here I'll get 3x plus 16 again in the second bracket and this is equal to 0. So 3x plus 16 can be taken as common that will leave x minus 2 in another bracket and this will be equal to 0. So either 3x plus 16 can be equal to 0 or x minus 2 can be equal to 0. From here I'll get x is equal to 16 by 3 and from here I'll get x is equal to Two. So these two can be the values of x if we solve this quadratic equation. And now let's take the final one. So the next problem is 15 is equal to 17x minus 4x square. This will become 4x square minus 17x plus 15 is equal to 0. So here we have to find the factors of 4 multiplied by 15. The factors of 4 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 and the factors of 15 can be written as 3 multiplied by 5. So here the product of these three factors is 12 and here we have 5 and if I add 12 and 5 I get 17. So the factors of this can be either 12 multiplied by 5 or they can be minus 12 multiplied by minus 5. So this can be written as 4x square minus 12x minus 5x plus 15 is equal to 0. So from first two terms I can take 4x common it will be x minus 3 and from here I can take minus 5 common and again I'll get x minus 3 inside the bracket and this is equal to 0. And from both the terms if I take x minus 3 common I'll get 4x minus 5 inside another bracket and product of these two brackets will be equal to 0. So either x minus 3 is equal to 0 or 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. From here I'll get x is equal to 3 and from here I'll get x is equal to 5 by 4. 
This is one method and after this we are going to learn two more methods of finding the roots of the quadratic equation. So keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then.